After starting on the login screen, you end up on this juicy sources page where most people don't know where to go. That's because Lexis is built for lawyers. But the secondary legal search is what you want as a debater. That's where all of the journals live. In lawyer land, unlike court cases, journals are considered secondary sources. So let's click US and Canadian law reviews combined and search that. That's probably your most common selection to search. Here you have a search box that uses older style Boolean search methods where you need to insert words and then use connectors. Let's search methylmercury. Methylmercury comes up for us with 137 search results. By comparison, the Free Social Science Research Network only has five results for the same term in its journal database. Now let's take a look at using the search parameters to narrow a search. Starting with subsidy, we see there are 3,000 results or more, so we need to limit it. First with a date range, let's just look at the last few years. There's still too many results, so we should make our search smarter using the OR connector and using the WITHIN connector to see within 10 words of our search query, we want to see the phrase free market. Now searching that, we get 48 search results. Take a look at some of these and you'll see they're from highly credible journals Let's narrow it even further using the word agriculture. Now we find we're down to just 20 results, and these are pretty rich. You can see the preview of where each result appears inside of a journal. And then once we decide we want to read a particular article, click, and there's the full journal. So what's in a journal? Well. Journals are in-depth, peer-reviewed articles written usually by credible professors of law, people with advanced degrees, or law candidates. And they have, as we can see in this article, piles of footnotes. This one has 180. All of the footnotes are typically useful for further follow-up research, many times linked to other articles inside of Lexis that you can't get anywhere else. But going back up to the full journal, usually folks wax eloquent for a while until you get to the final section of a journal which has solutions. If we look at this one here, we'll see that many planned texts can come from the solution section of a journal. As we read on, we see that there is some sort of consensus among policymakers around promoting sustainable agriculture, and this person has some specific ways to do it. First, you see that at the far left of the paragraph, and then second, these could be mandate planks for a affirmative case or perhaps a counterplan. As we go on, we see the full scope of this person's solution, as well as the footnotes you'll see are buried in there of probable follow-up research we could do to back up that solution. This is typical of a journal article, so I often recommend look first at the top to see what it's about, then come down to the solutions and the conclusion section to see what does that author actually recommend after all of the background material above. That's a good way to tackle a journal. So you want to save it for later. Well, Downloading is the right thing to do. Click the Save button, select your format, hit Download. It takes a little bit, and then you can save the article. Make sure you follow the legal terms of use of Lexis when doing so. Last of all, how do you format a citation? Here's a quick example. The toughest part is you can't really provide a link because Lexis is a paid database. But here you have 22 Fordham Environmental Law Review 493, a reference to a specific journal page number and issue number where this journal lives on a library shelf somewhere. So as you can see, 
I've formatted the complete citation that you would typically use for a journal, you just want to grab those numbers. Now a quick case study. How would you try and see if biosecurity fits under the food, safety, and agriculture policy topic? Well, here's how I would do it. I'd say biosecurity within 25 words of agriculture policy, getting nothing. I would change that over to food safety and seeing 17 results. Is anyone talking about biosecurity in a way that seems food safety-ish? Answer is yes. I think we're on topic. Thank you.